Scorpios, welcome back to the channel. Peace, love, and light. This is Sasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. All right, guys, so this is going to be the second general reading, as promised. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you're new, welcome to the channel. I would love to have you. Definitely subscribe. Make sure you all have your notification bell on so you'll know when I post readings, make any announcements to the community board, or go live, okay? All right, spirit angels and guys, what do we have for Scorpio? Overall general reading. Overall general reading for Scorpios. <clears throat> Hope you guys are having a good morning, afternoon, or evening. All right, what do we have here? All right, so we have soul searching is the overall energy. So some of you guys could be on a journey, being in the hermit mode where you're soul searching, you're asking for guidance and help to find yourself, to find your place in this world, your assignment, your purpose, finding out who you are. Tell us more about soul searching. Okay, so we have prayers being answered. Okay, so whatever you may have sent up a prayer or manifested, they're going to be answered. So if you're trying, again, you're trying to find yourself in love, you know, a relationship, your career, just in yourself as a whole, whatever you're trying to seek on your journey, your prayers, whatever you're asking for is going to be answered. Okay, bottom of the deck, we got suffering and silence. So yeah, it's almost like a lot of you guys are staying to yourself. You're just trying to find your way, find clarity. All right, so tell us about soul searching. So the prayers are being answered. Of course, everything happens in divine timing as well, okay? What is soul searching? Clarify soul searching for Scorpio. Overall general message. Thank you. All right. So the temperance in the reverse, Sagittarius energy. I'm hearing someone feels uneasy. They don't feel balanced. You feel lost, confused. Your energy is off track. Some of you guys could be drinking. Whether It don't have to be hardcore liquor. It can be wine. But overall, it's almost like you're being, in, it's almost like an impatient energy. Tell us more soul searching. Thank you. Mm, the tower in the reverse. So you may have, of course, Scorpio, Aries, um, and Sagittarius energy. It's in the reverse. Someone is lost, confused. It's like you're trying to avoid drama, chaos in your life. It's almost like someone is sweeping their issues, their problems, mind, body, and spirit under the rug, not wanting to deal with it. That's why I felt like someone is drinking. Someone is avoiding going through like a spiritual awakening it's almost like it's too hard i want some things done i want some things to come through for me but everything else i'm not ready to accept that yet i'm not ready to dive that deep yet hmm. it's like i heard blow the roof off it's like someone is not ready to blow the roof off of a situation like expose themselves someone is not ready for that yet but they're in that soul searching energy so of course as you on your spiritual journey everything takes time everyone's journey is going to be different okay what is prayers being answered and soul searching Oh, all reversals here. Ace of, well, Ace of Wands in reverse. <sighs> Give me one more. Prayers being answered for Scorpio. There's a block happening here. There's something you're needing to do here, Scorpio, in order for the doors to open for you. Someone here has to stop being impatient. Drinking is not going to solve the problems. All right, and we got another reversal, four cups in reverse. That's not good. 
Any reversals is not good. There's a block in creativity, a block in new chapters, new beginnings. Someone has to learn how to be happy without needing someone around them. Kind of like that spirit of, you know, when someone knows how to be alone. And is it okay? So this is like, I just want to be happy. But deep down inside, someone is depressed, they're sad, they're unstable, they're drinking, they're just avoiding going through this awakening because it's like, it's too hard. That means everything got to come up to the surface. Mommy issues, daddy issues, drinking problems, how I dealt with exes, me not knowing my value and worth, all of that's going to come up. And that's what someone is trying to avoid. So it's like you're trying to find yourself, but you don't want to deal with the issues that need to be addressed. So even though... The prayers are going to be answered, but someone is in like a depression stage where they're creating their own blocks. They're keeping themselves stuck and stagnant when it's time to be honest and speak the truth. Bring justice to your life. Ask for Archangel Michael to step in to help you cut away people, places, and things, toxic energies that you absorb. Remove that from your spirit, from your energy. Every timeline. That's when it goes into what you guys always hear me say. Make that statement and say this every day. I call my power back to me from every entity, from every portal, from every person. You do not have permission to siphon my energy. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. So what is temperance in the reverse and soul searching for Scorpio? So yeah, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio could be in your chart. Overall general message for Scorpio. Now, keep in mind, the reading can be past, present, or future. You may be going through this now. This may have already happened in your life and you have evolved from that state of your being. Or this may come about in the future. Or this can be someone else's energy that is tapped into yours, somehow connected to you. What is temperance and soul searching? Hmm. <laughs> More reversal, six of swords in reverse. What is temper? Uh, not temperance. What is tower in the reverse and soul searching? I heard lost soul. Someone is like a lost soul. All right, so we got an upright. So the magician, Gemini, Virgo. Why it seems like someone is trying to manifest, but hasn't went through their awakening. They're avoiding everything else, but still trying to use their power of the words, because of course. The magician is all about all about your speaking because words are spells. Prayers are spells. Everything you speak out of your mouth is a spell. So someone is trying to either cast a spell or trying to manifest something when they have yet to deal with the issues at hand. For example, kind of like my roadblock oil. There could be roadblocks in your life that could be stopping your manifestations. You can't, you can't have your cake and eat it too. You got to go through the awakening, go through the journey, face the hard roads, look yourself in the mirror and say, hey, I need help. I need to get myself on the right track. I need to understand my position, my assignment, my purpose before I'm able to manifest anything. Because someone here has an altar. Maybe an altar with a lot of flowers or something around it. Someone here is definitely an alchemist. They can turn water into wine. And that's all what an alchemist is. You're turning, your, turning heartbreak into your power, using your pain to create something. But that tower is like, I'm still sweeping a few things under the rug. I'm trying to avoid bringing up something that's heartbreaking. But I'm still trying to manifest regardless. Because even if the universe is guiding you to move on from a person, place, or situation that may have broken you, you know, that may have caused you disruption, caused your life to be imbalanced, or a person that... Just made you feel uncomfortable. Someone has not fully moved on from a situation. You have not let the past go yet. Mm -hmm. Queen of Wands. The Knight of Wands here. Two of Pentacles. Now, like I said, the roles can be reversed. It could be someone else's energy. 
they're unstable, they're unbalanced, they're avoiding going through their journey, they haven't moved on, or they are still allowing the past to hold them back. And they're still trying to manifest or manipulate a situation over all of that. Hmm. All right, what is prayers being answered in Ace of, excuse me, Ace of Wands in the reverse? Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't take anything that doesn't fit with your situation, okay? Ace of Wands in the reverse. <clears throat> Thank you. All right. Page of Cups in the reverse. What is the Four of Cups in reverse and prayers being answered? <clears throat> so we got two cards here. The Wheel of Fortune. And the Ten of Pentacles. Fixed signs, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. There's a lot going on here. I'll tell you. Five of Pentacles in reverse. Page of Pentacles. Seven of Swords. The Sun. Mm. Ace of Cups. So, Gemini, Scorpio, Sagittarius. I say Pisces with that Page of Cups. Someone just wants a happy ending. They're wanting things to turn around. Someone is wanting this new chapter, this new beginning, good karma into their life. To have a family, a, a business that's flowing with abundance and prosperity, solid commitment. Someone really wants that. And I feel like, again, on the other end, the prayers are being answered. But for some reason, I feel like for a lot of you, Scorpio, and take this if it resonates, there is someone, or either this is you, someone is being blocked. I'm not sure who that can be, but someone is being blocked here. No type of new chapters, no new beginnings. But the other person, for somehow, of course, is getting what they desire, what they manifest, what they want. But it's still like a lot of mixed energy here. Because there's one person, Page of Cups in Reverse, who has a lot of creative blocks. They're not tuning into their higher self. Their intuition is blocked. Someone who has like emotional baggage, who doesn't know how to communicate properly. So in so many ways, it's almost like things could be, of course, working out for you, but someone else got to stay out the way. Because it's like multiple energies here at one time. Some of you guys could have prayed for someone not to come back in your life. Friend, family, ex, whoever this can be. Somehow the universe is definitely blocking this individual, whoever that was, but the doors are opening for another person. Like I said, that can be you or the other. Take what resonates. There's changes. There's new beginnings, new cycles, good karma, stability, security, family, household, tangible things. Tell me more about this magician and the tower in the reverse. For Scorpio. Hmm. So eight of wands. Tell me more about the temperance in the reverse and six of swords in the reverse. Hmm. Yeah. King of wands. Aries, Leo, Sag. So there's like a fire sign here that is being blocked from you. Someone who wants to return, come back in your life, or someone who has not completely moved on. This is this energy is like a fallen angel. They're basically they're a karmic. <clears throat> very childish, very immature, very superficial, very shallow, a womanizer, male or female. They're being blocked from your energy. So it can be a water sign or a fire sign. Someone is being blocked here. Queen of Cups is also in the reverse here. Yeah. Hmm. This individual is being blocked. Whoever this is that's wanting to be in your presence or be around you. I'm getting cancer or an Aries here. Hmm. So it's like the extra baggage and burdens that you had to carry. You no longer have to carry that anymore. It's almost like an energy transfer going back to someone. It's like whatever someone may have done to you caused you to feel it's going back to them like tenfold. 
So while you're able to get rid of this person, you no longer have to carry that weight. It's like it's piggybacking on someone where things are blocked. Happiness, success, wishes being fulfilled is being blocked for someone else. Wow, King of Cups in the reverse also. Hmm. So that is you. So, but I feel as though this King of Cups in reverse is your energy. I don't pick up like you're the one that's a karmic. It's almost like you're cold towards someone. You're not giving a damn about someone. You're not giving them emotions anymore. Emotionally, you have turned off to someone. And they're forced to sit and think about the choices, the decision, how they got themselves in this position. Because now you're seeing the reality of who you dealt with, the whole situation in total. It's like you're not wearing the rose-colored glasses anymore. You're seeing the truth and now you're moving forward. You're pushing forward. Could be relocating, traveling, or just getting away from this energy. Seeing who you really was dealing with. Hmm. So yeah, there's like a fire sign or a water sign here. Childish, immature, their creativity, new beginnings is being blocked. But it looks like you, because of course you represent the Wheel of Fortune as well, fixed signs. There's good karma, things are shifting in your life. Hey, we can take that too, right? Okay, so thank you, Spirit. So that magician is this person. Who try to manipulate or it's like someone is trying to come back around to manipulate the situation. This king of wands in reverse, who is also this magician. They're the ones that are sweeping things under the rug. Thank you, spirit. Spirit, give me clarification. They're the ones that's sweeping things under the rug. A strong Aries placement. Things are being blocked from them. So any type of communication whether it's physical communication or telepathically, it's being blocked because someone is avoiding going through that breakthrough, that awakening. It's like they're trying to sweep the bullshit under the rug and trying to get their way. But this is a fallen angel. Hmm. It's like you're asking, some of you guys may have prayed for this person to get out of your energy. To keep them away from you, block them from you. Block communication, block reconciliation. Their energy is a whole. They're not the one for you. This is someone who's disrespectful, a liar, don't know how to communicate. Yeah. So that makes sense. Thank you, spirit. So... You're the one that's soul searching. You're praying for change. Adjust, I heard adjustments, adjustments in your life from a fire sign or a water sign here. Keep them away, block them out. Yeah. It's like you're, I don't know if you're saying tenfold after your prayers or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, this is someone. Uh, Aries or a water sign here. This is someone who's like a fool. They they're a clown. They make stupid decisions. Someone who's not ready for change. They're not ready to go through that awakening. They're still the same person. Yeah, a karmic energy, a masculine here. Hmm. They're not stable. They're not loyal. You can't trust them. They're non-committal. They are karmic. They are karmic. You've already thrown in the towel. You gave up on trying to win a battle or win a fight with this individual. You just throw in the towel like it is what it is. You are who you are. You've already shattered my heart already. Wow. Mm. So with this reading, Spirit was giving me multiple messages at one time. So sorry if it kind of went all over the place, but I was hearing different things. Yeah. So 10, 10 is here. So there's already some type of ending between you and someone. Yeah. All right, guys. So thank you for joining me in this reading. I'm going to stop right here. Now, I do want to say something else before I end this reading. 
So I noticed here at the bottom was suffering and silence and stable foundation. I feel like this is all you wanted was to have a stable foundation, ten of pentacles, a home, a family, a marriage, something that you can build generational wealth off of for your children and children to come. That's all you wanted was stability, security in your life. But it seems like you had to suffer in silence. You had to go deep within and go through that soul searching energy. Stay to yourself. Be by yourself. Deal with the feelings, emotions at hand. And during that time, you, you sent prayers up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right, guys. So this is our second general reading so far, as promised. Peace, love, and light. So like I said, this individual, I'm getting a strong, like, either Cancer, an Aries, someone could have Gemini or Sagittarius. The person you're trying to get rid of or get out of your energy. Okay? All right. Peace, love, and light. If you need a personal reading, as this is a general collective reading for the star sign of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising, go to my website, intuitivegoddesstarot.com. All right? Like, comment, share, subscribe. See you on the next reading. Bye-bye.